Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Exclude Objects feature for the Flash Forge Adventure 5M using Orca Slicer. Now this is a feature that was recently enabled in the latest firmware and it's fantastic because it will allow you to exclude an object from printing. So let's say that you have multiple things on the build plate and everything is being printed at the same time but one of them fails. Usually when this happens, you have to stop the entire print. Otherwise, it's just going to become a spaghetti mess all over the build plate. But with the exclude objects feature, you can tell the printer to stop trying to print that failed object and instead focus on the others. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to enable it. Let's head over to Orca Flash Forge. And as you probably know by now, this is just a fork of Orca Slicer, but it is using a older version of Orca Slicer at its base. They recently updated this version as well. So the one that I am using right now is version 1.0.1. But I just wanted to show you that because I'm not going to use it for this example because the exclude objects function currently, based on my tests, does not work in Orca Flash Forge. You can enable it, but when I tried to use it, even though I told it to exclude objects, it still continued to print them anyway. So it's not working currently, at least not for me in Orca Flash Forge. So instead, I'm going to hop right on over to Orca Slicer the regular Orca Slicer version 2.0. So as you can see here, I've got these four filament clips right here. So what you need to do is make sure you have the advanced option selected and then go down to the others tab. And then under here, if you scroll down a bit, you're gonna see exclude objects. By default, it's gonna be off, but just click it so that the check will be there and it will be on. And that's really all that you have to do. If you want to get the most out of this, also make sure that your print sequence is by layer because that way all of the objects are going to be printed at the same time. The other option is by object in which the printer will only print one object at a time. So to get the most out of this, just make sure that by layer is still selected and it should be that way by default. And that's really all you have to do. So if I go ahead and slice this plate here, with the 0.6 millimeter nozzle and 10% infill, it's going to take a little under 12 minutes for this to print. So it's going to send this off to the printer. In fact, I've already done it. So let me show you what happened when I tried to use the exclude objects feature from a slice in Orca 2.0. So now I re-sliced the file using Orca 2.0. And as you can see, I got four of these filament clips currently printing. Now let's try to exclude two of them. So as you see here, there is an icon down below the picture of the print. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. And then when I do that, you see that we have a silhouette of the print. I can use this magnifying glass icon to zoom in on it. I can use these arrow keys here to move the print around. I wanna exclude these two on the right. So I'm just gonna tap the first one here. That's gonna be blue, tap the second one. And now that one is blue. Touch screen can be a little weird sometimes. Now, if you want to save it, you click this icon here. If you want to go back without saving it, you wanna click that icon there. So let's just press this. And now, if we go back into it, the two on the right should be excluded, all right? So let's look at the print head and make sure that it does not try to print the two on the right anymore. All right, you see that? It's bouncing right back to the one below. And then after that, it should go to the one directly on top. So based on my experience, the exclude objects function is not working currently on the Orca Flash Forge version 1.0.1, but it is working in the Orca Slicer version 2.0. So that worked out exactly how it's supposed to. So right now, your best bet if you want to use that function is to slice within Orca Slicer 2.0 and not Orca Flash Forge. They still need to do a bit of work on that. And I also just want to point out real quickly that I know some people have been having some Wi-Fi issues with the printer after updating to the latest firmware. In case you didn't know, your IP address has probably changed in the printer. So if you have trouble getting your printer to connect 
through Orca Slicer or, or even the Orca Flash Forge app, double check your IP address for your printer and then you have to input the new IP address in the slicing software and hopefully that'll work for you. For me, my IP address changed by one number at the very end. So I just need to put that in. And once I did, everything was working fine. So try that and hopefully it'll work out for you. But that's how you use the exclude objects function. And I think that this can be very helpful if you're printing multiple things on a plate at the same time. So that's all for now. If you want to see more videos about the Flash Forge Adventure 5M, I made a playlist that has a whole bunch of videos all about this printer included there. And then the rest of the videos that I make in the future about it are also going to be there. So you always have access to them in one easy to find place. All right, so that's it for now. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.